what's up guys it's covert code here and welcome back to part 9 of our zero to hero series in the previous episode we covered how you can use for loops and in this video we're going to actually cover and learn about how you can use repeat loops now repeat loops are a similar kind of loop to for loops however they work slightly differently okay so let's open up the script and let's show you guys how you can actually use repeat loops now in contrast to for loops where you actually tell them how many times you want them to run repeat loops uh, are sort of a question mark because you don't know how many times they're going to run essentially so let me show you guys something so let's say uh counter is equal to zero so we just initialized a variable right there and put that as zero and let's just make a for loop so for i is equal to 1 to 50 do okay and we're just going to add counter is equal to counter plus one or you could also just do counter plus equals one these are the same thing i'm just going to opt for this last one here okay so we're just going to be adding the counter uh by one every single time and at the end we're just going to print the counter okay so we're not, not doing anything new we've already covered variables for loops and printouts so let's see what this comes down to okay so let's print out 50 Okay, because you added 1 to the 0 50 times. Okay, now the way you would do this, let me just comment this out, okay, with a repeat loop is slightly different. Let me show you guys how repeat loops work, um, and then I'll explain. So, repeat, wait, until, uh, counter is equal to 50, counter plus equals 1. Plus equals 1. Okay, so a few new things here, guys. The first new thing is the wait. So, um, the wait is essentially telling the script to pause for a certain amount of seconds, okay? So if I say wait 0.5, that's going to wait half a second. If I'm telling it to wait uh, like 25 seconds, you know, that's going to wait 25 seconds before resuming with the rest of the script. So just keep that in mind. And I'll show you what the default value for wait, aka when it's empty, uh, right on the screen now. And that's how many seconds uh, it's going to wait uh, when it's empty. And you would do this because the repeat loop, as I said, it's a question mark. You don't know how many times um, that is going to run before actually achieving its goal, okay? And the problem with that is that it can turn out to be an infinite loop, okay? So it may never actually reach its goal. Therefore, what happens is your studio crashes, your game crashes, and you do not want that, okay? So just always add a wait when there's an infinite possibility. Now, that's the reason I added that, and I'm just adding the counter um, here. Same thing as here, okay? So I'm just adding it until the counter reaches 50. So I'm going to repeat the code inside of this, okay? Between the repeat and until, until this condition is met. So imagine there's an if condition here so imagine counter is equal to 50 okay so this is essentially doing that so until this is true okay just don't imagine it like that though just you know memorize how the formatting is for the repeat loop and always know that this thing after the until should be a condition so it's just checking the counter every time the the, the uh, loop finishes up okay so let me just illustrate this for you guys so we've set the or set by set i mean um initialize the repeat loop here okay so that's the keyword repeat and we're just telling the script to repeat whatever is inside of the the repeat loop so anything from the repeat keyword to the until keyword so this okay until the counter reaches 50 and what would happen is this runs, okay, counter is now 1, because you've added this. So now we're checking if 1 is equal to 50. It's not, so th the loop happens again. It's going to wait, counter plus equals 1, it's now 2, so counter is now 2, and it's checking if that is equal to 50, and that will repeat up until the point that counter is equal to 50. Okay, so let me just that back and let's run this just to show you guys that it achieves the same thing so at the end counter will be 50 okay as you guys can see right there now there are several use cases for this again you know you'll actually see 
different kinds of loops used throughout stripping and whenever you see them you know when you, when you get a bit more advanced you'll actually start to understand when and how to use these things but i'm just teaching you the structure of this and how it works so as i say in every single video of mine guys just practice 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 okay so just make different repeat loops and practice okay and that will make you significantly better when you actually become advanced because when you're actually advanced you have to problem solve okay and i'll actually make a video on that in the future however for now you just need to know the basics okay so this is a basic repeat loop know how to actually structure it so repeat keyword until keyword what actually happens when you define a repeat loop um and the process behind it okay which i just explained that's pretty much all i have guys on repeat loops like subscribe leave comments in the comment section down below suggesting what videos i should make in the future and i'll see you guys next time